are here Mowing in our midst I worship you I worship you You are here Working in this place I worship you I worship you Sing you are here You are here Moving in our midst I worship you I worship you You are here Working in this place I worship you I worship you Sing You are Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here. Touching every heart I worship you I worship you You are here Healing every heart I worship you I worship you You are here Turning lives around I worship you, I worship you, you are here, mending every heart, I worship you, I worship you, cause you are way maker, miracle worker, promise keep light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. 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 That is who you Feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop. Even when I, even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are. 
That is who you are. That is who you are. Let's just sing. We may go just one last time from the bottom of our hearts. You might be a person who needs healing in this place. It might not be a physical one, but it can also be something that's spiritual healing that you might need. And He's more than able to provide that today for us. And we are in His presence. And He's more than able to do exceedingly than what we could expect from Him. So from the bottom of our hearts, let's just say, Lord, You are a way maker. Just show us the way for us today. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. Who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. 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 That is who you feet may fail and there I find you in the mystery in oceans deep my faith will stand so I will call upon your name about the waves when oceans rise my soul will rest in your embrace for I am yours and you are Abounds in deepest waters, your sovereign hand will be my guide. The feet may fill and fear surrounds me, you never fail, and you won't stop. Abounds in deepest waters, your soaring hand will be my guide. The feet may fail and fear surrounds me, you never fail, and you won't start now. So I the waves when oceans rise my soul will rest in your 
oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours, and you are mine. Spirit. the presence of my Savior. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith would be made stronger. In the presence of my Savior Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders Let me walk upon the waters Wherever you would call me Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander And my faith will be made stronger the presence of my Savior, so I will call upon your name, and keep my eyes above the waves, when oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace, for I Let's sing, Spirit. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander, and my faith stronger in the presence of my Savior. One last time. Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me. Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander. And my faith will be made stronger In the presence of my Savior So I will call upon your name And keep my eyes above the waves When oceans rise my soul will rest in your embrace for I am yours, and you are mine. All right, so... Thank you, Miro. And thank you, church, for allowing us to be here with you. Ďakujeme, Miro. Ďakujeme zboru, že tu môžeme byť. Miro actually beat me. I wanted to pray with you guys. A Miro ma trošku predbehol. Ja som sa s vami chcel modliť. And I wanted to pray exactly what he prayed. A chcel som sa modliť presne to, čo sa on modlil. That we would be ministered by God's word and by his spirit. Aby nám bolo poslúžené Božím slovom a aby nám bolo poslúžené uh, skrze Jeho ducha. So we've prayed, so I'm assuming that our hearts are ready to receive, right? Takže sme sa modlili a predpokladám, že naše srdcia sú pripravené na to, aby sme príjmali. But there's one thing, I want to make sure, do you guys have your Bible? 
A, ale ešte jedna vec. Máte Biblie? Let's see it. I want to see Ukážte, if you're ready. Či ste pripravení? All right, Ukážte meče. All right, if you got your phones. <laughs> Telefóny, ak máte. No video games, okay? Nebudete sa tu hrať videohry, dobre? All right. So, Pastor Michael asked me to, to come a few months ago. Michal ma poprosil pred pár mesiacmi, And aby som prišiel. He did not help me at all. A vôbec mi nepomáhal. I asked, what should I preach on? A pýtal som sa ho, že o čo mám kázať? Said, on your heart. Čokoľvek máš na srdci, mi povedal. That wasn't helpful. To nebolo veľmi nápomocné. Most of the time on my heart is like lunch. <laughs> Lebo väčšinou, čo je na mojom srdci, je, že obed. Bills to pay. Alebo účty, čo mám platiť. Problems to deal with. Problémy, ktoré sa musím, s ktorými sa musím vysporiadať. So I had to just, you know, spend some time with Jesus. Takže som musel tráviť čas s Pánom Ježišom. And the Lord just put on my heart, hey, you know, I just Do what you always do. A čo mi pán Boh povedal, uh, bolo to, že pokračuj v tom, čo normálne robievaš. We've been going through the life of Jesus. Prechádzame si teraz život pána Ježiša. I think we're all Jesus people here, right? A verím tomu, že všetci sme tu Ježišovi ľudia. We're all about Jesus here. Yeah. A že všetkým nám záleží na pánovi Ježišovi, dúfam teda. So we thought, hey, let's just continue in the life of Jesus with this wider group. A tak som sa zamýšľal teda na tým, že dobre, tak budeme pokračovať a, a budeme si hovoriť o živote Pána Ježiša s takou širšou skupinkou ľudí. So you've got those Bibles. I want you to open up to John chapter 17. Čiže keďže máte už Biblie, tak by som vás poprosil, aby ste si otvorili Jána 17. kapitolu. This is where we are at as City Light Church. A tu sa teraz nachádzame my ako City Light, a, kde sa teda káže. And John 17 is all about the prayer life of Jesus. A Jan 17. kapitola je o modlitebnom živote Pána Ježiša. You'll notice really quick as you look at if we look at his prayer. A keď sa pozrite na túto modlitbu Pána Ježiša, hneď si môžete všimnúť. Jesus prays different than I pray and than you pray probably. Pán Ježiš sa trošičku inak modlil, ako sa modlievam ja, alebo možno ako sa modlievaš ty. I think many times our prayers are like country music. Anyone listen to country music before? <laughs> Naše modlitby sú niekedy ako uh, country hudba. Niektorí počúvate country hudbu? You know, your, your truck is broke. Uh, pokazilo sa ti auto, alebo your, kamion. Your marriage is broke. Tvoje manželstvo je pokazené. Your, your bank account is broke. Uh, tvoj bankový účet je pokazený, alebo and, prázdny. And you're just kind of complaining about it, right? A o tomto všetkom sa stiažuješ. Right. Sometimes our prayers are like that, right? Niekedy naše modlitby sú takéto. That's one extreme. Toto je jeden extrém. The other extreme is this. Druhý extrém je takýto. You know those people who pray like angels? A poznáš ľudí, ktorí sa modlia ako anieli? But it's like blah, blah, blah. Ale tie ich modlitby sú blá, blá, blá. It means nothing, right? Nič to neznamená. Well, you're not going to see that with Jesus' prayer here, okay? Uh, toto neuvidíš v modlitbe Pána Ježiša. He prays different than us because his heart is different than ours. On sa modlil inak, pretože jeho srdce bolo inak naladené ako to naše. So we're going to just go through parts of John 17. So we're going to start in the beginning, John 17, verse 1. Čiže budeme si prechádzať Jána 17. kapitolu, začneme v prvom verši. And it gives us a little bit of context. A dáva nám tu, tu trošičku taký kontext. It says, after Jesus said this, he looked up to heaven and he said or he prayed. Keď to Ježiš povedal, pozdvihol oči k nebu a hovoril. After what? Po čom? After what? Po čom to bolo? Well, if you look back a few chapters, starting from chapter 13 all the way to 16, Keby ste si pozerali 13. až 16. kapitolu, we get the after what. tak tam vidíme, že po čom to bolo. We know it is the scene of the last Vieme, že tam je tá scéna poslednej večere. Jesus is going to spend this beautiful moment of Passover with his beloved disciples. Pán Ježiš tu trávi čas paschy alebo posledné večere s jeho milovanými učeníkmi. He knows without a doubt that his end is near. A bez pochybnosti vie, že pri, sa priblížil jeho koniec. And he knows he's returning to the Father. A takisto si uvedomuje, že sa vracia naspäť ku Otcovi. And he knows that this is his last chance to just pour out his love on these guys. A takisto si uvedomuje, že toto je jeho ako keby posledná šanca, kde môže v plnosti vyliať tú svoju lásku na týchto ľudí. A je nám povedané, že chcel dokázať plnosť jeho lásky. And so what does he do? A čo tam robí? He goes and he 24 very dirty feet. Ide dookola a umýva 24 smradlavých zaprašených nôh. He will go around and he will wash the feet of these men. 
išiel dookola a umýval nohy týmto mužom, who he knows, o ktorých vedel, will betray him, že ho všetci zradia, will deny him, že ho zaprú, will all abandon him that very evening. že ho opustia práve v tento istý večer. And despite all of that, a napriek tomu všetkému he still wants to full, show them the fullness of his love. Im chcel dokázať plnosť jeho lásky. In his darkest hour he shows love. V jeho najtemnejšej hodine dokazuje plnosť jeho lásky. And to these guys who are going to abandon him. K týmto ľuďom, ktorí ho išli opustiť. He will promise them heaven. Tak im zasľubuje nebo. He says I'm going to go prepare a place for you. Im hovorí, že idem, aby som vám pripravil miesto práve pre vás. Nebojte sa, ja sa vrátim a zoberem, zoberem si vás uh, spolu so mnou, aby ste boli uh, v nebi na veky. Enough, a ak toto by nestačilo, gone, kým budem odídený, I'm gonna give you my Holy tak vám zanechávam môjho Ducha Svetého. On te bude potešovať. He's going to fight your battles for you. On bude bojovať tvoje boje za teba. He's going to guide you into all truth. On te bude vovádzať do všetkej pravdy. He will be with you forever. I will never ever leave you. On bude s tebou navždy a na veky. Right. if that wasn't enough. A ak toto by nestačilo? He says, I'm going to give you my love. Tak nám hovorí, že nechávam vám tú moju lásku. And you can abide there. You can live in my love forever. A v tejto mojej láske môžete žiť navždy a na veky. That is all the things that happened before this moment. Toto je to, čo sa odohrávalo pred týmto momentom. And kind of the cherry on top. A ako taká čerešnička na vrchu. He's gonna pray for his disciples. Sa bude modliť za svojich učeníkov. He, that's this little extra bonus. To je ako keby taký extra bonus. You know what? Um, ooh, that was loud. Okay. Do you know what the most loving thing you can do for someone? A viete, alebo uvedomujete si, aká je tá najväčšia, uh, najväčší dôkaz lásky, čo dokážete pre niekoho spraviť? Is pray for someone? Je to, že sa za nich môžete modliť. Do you realize that? Uvedomuješ si to? That is the most loving thing you can do. To je tá, tá, taký najväčší dôkaz lásky, čo dokážeš robiť. I don't know if you realize this. Neviem, či si to uvedomujete. But when you put your hands on someone, you just start praying for them. A keď zložíte vašu ruku na niekoho a začnete sa za nich modliť. What you're doing? Čo robíte? Is you're inviting the creator of the universe. Je to, že pozývate tvorcu celého vesmíru. Who has power over all things between heaven and earth. A pozývate tohto tvorcu celého vesmíru, ktorý má moc uh, medzi nebom a zemou. Who is also the lover of your soul. Ktorý je aj milujúcim tvojej duše. And you're saying You're welcome into my life. A hovoríte im, že vítaš v mojom živote, you're, vítaj tu. You're welcome into this situation. Vítaš ho do tej konkrétnej situácie. You're welcome into my dysfunctionality and my chaos. Vítaš ho do tých nefunkčností v tvojom živote a vítaš ho do tvojho chaosu. I cannot do anything in the natural, but you can do something in the supernatural. Ja v tom mojom prirodzenom nič nedokážem spraviť, ale ty, Bože, v tvojej nadprirodzenosti dokážeš spraviť všetko. Prayer is like our secret weapon. Modlitba je ako naša tajná zbraň. But we so use it, right? Ale tak málo, uh, málo krát, zriedka kedy, ju používame. Čiže modlitba je taká mocná tužba, ktorú máme v sebe. A vieš aj ty, že keď sa nemodlíš ani tie modlitby tej country hudby alebo modlitby tých úžasných anielov, But just that, that, those real honest ones. ale tie skutočné, tie úplne úprimné, kde tie slova v tvojom mňu sú reflektujú tie najväčšie needs and desires and struggles in your heart. Kde tie tvoje slova vyjadrujú to tú hlbokosť tvojho srdca, ten obrovský zápas a tým čím si prechádzaš. And you're just laying at the feet of your good father. A toto skladáš pri nohách tvojho dobrého otca. The same good father who promises to only give good gifts. K tomu otcovi, ktorý nám zasľubuje, že nám bude dávať iba dobré dary. This father who promises to give you anything that you ask in his name. Tento otec, ktorý ti zasľubuje, že ti dá čokoľvek, čo prosíš v jeho mene. Anything that is in accordance to his will. Čokoľvek, čo bude v súlade s jeho vôľou. That you can have the confidence that he's going to answer that. Že môžeš mať takú zábezpeku, takú dôveru, že toto on splní. 
I don't know about you, but I'll be honest, I don't always pray with that in mind. Um, neviem ako vy, ale ja teraz budem úprimný, že ja keď sa modlívam, tak nie vždycky držím toto v pamäti. I don't always pray with that kind of confidence. Nie vždycky sa modlím s takou dôverou. But we should. Ale mali by sme. Because that's what you have. Lebo toto máme dostupné. And I know many of you are been Christians for a long, long time. A viem, že mnohí z vás ste kresťania už dlhý čas. I don't intend to teach you anything new. A teraz vás nechcem naučiť niečo nové. But I hope I can remind you of something old. Ale dúfam, že vám pripomeniem niečo staré. And that we can do it again new. A že to môžeme robiť od znova. So, what does Jesus do? Tak čo tu Pán Ježiš robí? Says, we see that he's going to pray for these disciples. Vidíme, že sa tu ide modliť za týchto učeníkov. These ones he wanted to show the fullness of his love to. Týchto učeníkov, ktorým chcel dokázať plnosť svojej lásky. Now, we're not going to look through all of John 17 today. Nebudeme si prechádzať celou 17. kapitolou Jana. We're just going to take some little bits of it. A, také záhrysky si zoberieme. So I want you guys to jump forward to verse 11. Tak by som teraz poprosil, aby ste skočili do 11. verša. Jesus is praying to the Father. Pán Ježiš sa modlí k svojmu otcovi. Praying for his disciples. Modlí sa k svojim, za svojich učeníkov. He says, I will remain in this world no longer, but they are still in the world. And I am coming to you, Holy Father. Protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. Už viac nie som vo svete, ale oni sú vo svete. A ja idem k tebe, oče, oče svetý. Tých, ktorí si mi dal, zachovávaj vo svojom mene, aby boli jedno, ako my. What was his desire for them? Aká bola jeho túžba pre nich? We know it, that they would be one. Aby boli jedno. I love that um, Pastor Miro brought in, I think it was Psalm 133. A mne sa veľmi páči, keď na začiatku uh, Miro čítal 133. žalm. I wanted to squeeze it in the sermon, didn't have time. <laughs> ja som sa to nejako snažil vtesnať do tej kázne, ale nemal som čas. We were obviously on the same wavelength. <laughs> <laughs> ale uh, sme napojení na jedného ducha. <laughs> It's a beautiful psalm, right? Krásny žalm. How good and pleasant it is when we are one. Aké dobré a úžasné je to, keď sme zjednotení. That's where reside, right? Lebo z toho pramení požehnanie. He said he wanted them to be one. A je tu napísané, že on chcel, aby boli učeníci jedno. He wanted them to be in unity. Aby boli zjednotení. That was his deepest desire for them. To bola taká najhlbšia tužba pre nich, teda would, od neho pre nich. That they would see themselves as one thing aby oni sa videli navzájom ako jedno. To have a common identity and common calling. Aby mali uh, spoločnú jednotu a spoločné povolanie. Now, we have some unity. My máme nejakú jednotu. Um, let's do one unity. Let me do a little test. My biking buddies, raise your hands. Uh, tí, ktorí bicyklujete so mnou, tak sa prihláste. Raise them high. Vysoko. <laughs> All right. These guys are amazing, by the way. Títo sú úžasní. You got some good men in your church. Máte super ľudí vo, vo vašom zbore. There was a girl too. Oh, and a girl. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> S- strong in the spirit and strong on the trail. Okay. Uh, mocný v duchu a mocný na uh, tých necestách, cestách, necestách. And I've ridden with these guys. A ja som s nimi jazdil niekoľkokrát. And, and when we ride together, a my keď ideme spolu, we're united as one team. Sme zjednotení ako jeden tým. Around that love for the trail. A, a máme takú lásku pre tú cestičku, na ktorej sme. The that goes with it. Aj celý ten adrenalín, ktorý s tým je spojený. And, and a, good meal we have <laughs> a to dobré jedlo, ktoré máme potom. Right? So, that's one. <laughs> Čiže to je jedno. Uh, let me ask, is there any hockey fans here in the room? Hokejisti nejaký tu na? Jedna, Nadia. Oh, really? I'm <laughs> Dobre, not really... <laughs> I, Dobre, thought, I thought we were like Slovakia is like hockey nation. Myslel som si, že Slovensko. Slovensko. Poďme. <laughs> I don't know about you, but when there's a big game going on, ale neviem, ako teda vy, ale keď akože je veľký zápas, I don't need the television on. Tak nepotrebujem telku mať zapnutú. I know when things are not going good. Viem, uh, keď ne, sa veci neodohrávajú dobre. You can hear from the neighbors, right? Od susedov to počuješ. Čo robíš? <laughs> What are you doing? Foul. <laughs> Foul. And when it's going good, a keď uh, to ide dobre, the whole neighborhood. Celé susedstvo. Go! Right? So that's united that's unity right there. To je jednota. Right? But ale what Jesus is praying here is something so much more than that. To čo sa tu Pán Ježiš modlí je o mnoho, o mnoho väčšie. He says, 
What kind of oneness does he want them to have? Akú jednotu chce, aby mali? He says, be one as we are one. Aby boli jedno, tak ako my sme jedno, keď Pán Ježiš hovoril. As the Trinity. Ako trojedinnosť Božia. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Boh, Otec, Syn a Duch Svetý. He wanted them to be connected in a way that even goes beyond hockey, okay? On chcel, aby boli prepojení o mnoho, o mnoho viacej, než len nejakom hokeji. Something intimate, something deep, something eternal. Niečo dôverné, niečo hlboké, niečo väčšné. What is the glue that binds the Trinity? Čo je ta, to také lepidlo, ktoré spája uh, trojedinosť Božiu? I think a real simple answer without getting too deep in this is love. A bez toho, aby sme zachádzali nejako hlboko o, do nejakých teologických vecí, je to, že to bola láska. St. Augustine says this, whenever there is love, there is a trinity. Svetý Augustín povedal, kdekoľvek je láska, tak je tam trojica nejaká. There's a lover. Je ten, ktorý miluje. There's a beloved. Je ten, ktorý je milovaný. And there's a fountain of love. A je tam uh, fontána milosti, uh, lásky. And Jesus said, I want you to be one like me and my father and the spirit are one. A pán Ježiš hovorí, že, že chcem, aby boli jedno, tak ako my sme jedno, ako Otec, Syn a Duch Svetý. You know a dôvod, prečo sa pán Ježiš toto modlil, bol ten, že tí učeníci neboli zjednotení. You have some of these with your kids at home? Máte nejaké momenty takéto s vašimi deťmi doma? Parents, how does that make you feel when your kids are fighting? Rodičia, ako sa vy cítite, keď vaše deti sa hádajú? It's, it's terrible, right? Hrozné. Right? You don't like it. Nepáči sa vám to. Well, why would God the Father like it? Prečo by sa to malo páčiť Bohu? When we don't get along. Keď my nevychádzame medzi sebou spolu. And we knew, we know from the context that Jesus is praying into a real situation. A z kontextu vieme, že Pán Ježiš sa modlí do konkrétnej situácie. Because these disciples were seriously lacking uh, love for one another. Lebo títo učeníci im vážne chýbala láska navzájom. We know that very evening they were arguing. Vieme, že presne v tento večer sa hádali medzi sebou. And they were arguing about, hey, who can wash the, everyone's feet first? Nehádali sa o tom, že oh, kto ide prvý umývať nohy? No, 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 let me do it. Nie, 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 ja to spravím. That's not what they're doing. Nie, o tom sa nehádajú. They're arguing about who is the best. Ale hádali sa o tom, že kto je najlepší? Who is the greatest? To je najvyšší. Who is supreme? Kto je zvrchovaný? We never do that, right? My to nikdy nerobievame. You guys of Vera don't do that, right? Ani vy to vôbec nikdy nerobievate. So I, no? <laughs> Liars. Ste Liars. Klamári. <laughs> We do it. Aj my to robíme. Maybe not like these kids. Možno nie takýmto spôsobom, ako títo chalanie na tom obrázku. But we sometimes we vie to be more important than someone else. Ale niekedy sa aj my snažíme byť viacej dôležitejší ako niekto iný. We don't want to be one sometimes. Nechceme byť zjednotení We niekedy. want to be at the top. Chceme byť na vrchu. Right. And Jesus, he responds to this situation a Pán Ježiš reaguje na túto situáciu by washing their feet, as we mentioned earlier. tým, že im umýva nohy, ako and, sme už hovorili pred chvíľkou. And he asked them a, question. a vtedy sa ich pýtal otázku. Says, Do you know I'm doing this? Uvedomujete si, čo vám robím? Says, I'm doing this to set an for you. Robím to preto, že vám dávam príklad. And that you would do the same. Aby vy ste robili podobne. A potom v verse 34, this chapter 13, verse 34, Uh, 34. verš z 13. kapitoly. Nové prikázanie vám dávam. Love one another. Milujte sa navzájom. Love one Milujte sa navzájom. Love one another as I have loved you. Milujte sa navzájom tak ako som vás ja miloval. So what about us? A čo teda my? How's our unity? Aká je naša jednota? Are we at the biking level? Sme uh, tí bajkovač, bajkovači, Are alebo chodíme radi na bicykle, alebo sme fanúšikovia hokeja, hokeja. alebo sme, tá naša jednota je na úrovni trojedinosti Božej. We're honest, we're probably, we're not there, right? A ak sme úprimní, tak ešte sme nedosiahli. Well, Jesus knows that. A Pán Ježiš toto vie. And Jesus is gonna pray, not just for his disciples then, but for you and for me. A keďže toto Pán Ježiš vie, tak sa nemodlil len za tých učeníkov vtedy a tam, ale modlil sa za teba a za mňa. So please turn to verse 20 of chapter 17. Takže v 17. kapitole si skúste nájsť 20. verš. And let's just uh, do it only in Slovak. Ale v Slovenčine skúsime. If I find it. Nie len za týchto prosím, 
ale aj za tých, ktorí pre ich slovo uveria vo mňa. Um, 23, sorry. Oh, sorry. Aby všetci jedno boli, ako ty, oče, si vo mne a ja som v tebe. Aby aj oni boli v nás. Aby svet uveril, že si ma ty poslal. Hmm. A slávu, ktorú si dal mne, ja som dal im, aby boli jedno. Ako my jedno sme. Ja v nich a ty vo mne. Aby boli dokonale jedno. Aby svet poznal, že si ma ty poslal. A miloval si ich, ako si mňa miloval. Mm-hmm. So again, what's Jesus' desire? Takže aká je túžba pána Ježiša? That, that there would be one, right? Aby boli jedno. That we would be one. Aby my sme boli jedno. Uh, he's not talking about his, those 12, he's talking about you and me. Nehovorí len o tých 12 vtedy tam, ale hovorí aj o tebe a o mne. How's amazing that Jesus was praying for us here in the future. Aké je to úžasné, že pán Ježiš sa modlil vtedy už tu za nás v budúcnosti. He uses a very particular word. A používa tam jedno špeciálne slovičko. He says all. Používa tam slovičko všetci. All. Všetci. Who is this all? Čiže kto je to všetci? He tells us all who believe in me through the message, through the gospel. Všetci, ktorí uveria uh, v evanílium skrze to kázanie. <coughs> this is his desire for anyone who has embraced the gospel. Toto jeho túžba pre kohokoľvek, kto uveril v evanílium. I'm going to break an unpleasant truth to you. A teraz vám poviem takú možno nemilú pravdu. This all extends beyond the Baptist. <laughs> Toto všetci je aj mimo baptistickej denominácie. It, it extends to anyone who has embraced the gospel. To je pre všetkých, to, ktorí prijali uh, evanelium ako pravdu. I think heaven's going to be a great surprise for most of us. A myslím si, že nebo bude taká veľ, také veľké prekvapenie pre väčšinu z nás. You're going to find all sorts of people who you never thought were going to be there, right? Nájdeš tam kopec ľudí, na, o ktorých si si myslel, že by tam asi nemali byť. Don't worry, some people are going to wonder why you're there. <laughs> Nebojte sa, niektorí si budú myslieť to isté o vás. <laughs> I, I, I don't remember who it was. There was, a, there was a, an evangelist about 100 years ago or so. Uh, presne, kto toto bol, ale bol nejaký evangelista pred zhruba 100 rokmi. And he and another ministry, they kind of, they were rivals. They had very different theologies. A on a ešte jeden iný služobník uh, mali také rozdielne služby a tak zápasili medzi sebou. And it was well known, this, this kind of disagreement. A táto nezhoda bola dosť známa. And a newspaper reporter came to this, the, the one who was a little bit more famous, let's say. A, a novinár prišiel za tým jedným z nich, ktorý bol možno trošičku známejší. He says, hey, is that other guy, do you, do you think you'll see him in heaven? A pýtal sa ho, uh, ten druhý človek, myslíš si, že ho uvidíš v nebi? And the guy immediately said, no. A tento známy kazateľ povedal, že nie. He says, I won't see him in heaven because he'll be way up by the front of the throne. Neuvidím ho v nebi, lebo on bude tam predu pri tróne. And I'll be so far in the back I don't think I'm going to meet him. A ja budem úplne niekde vzadu, tak sa určite nestretneme. And, and I like that. A to sa mi páči. He, he understood that that guy is much of a son of God as I am. Uvedomoval si tento kazateľ, že, že aj ten druhý, ktorý s ktorým možno až tak nesúhlasil, tak je Božím synom. In fact, he will probably be closer to the throne of God than I am. Že bude ešte možno bližšie k Božej prítomnosti, k Božiemu trónu, ako ja sám osobne. It speaks of humility. Hovorí to o pokore. It's great. That je should to be our úžasné. Attitude, right? To by mal byť aj náš postoj. I want to go through a few things here in this text. Chcel by som si ešte prejsť pár veci v tomto texte. If we're a little long, it's because translation, not my fault, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to shorten you're doing good, you're doing good. <laughs> Ak ideme trošku dlhšie, tak Patrik to zvalil na mňa, takže... <laughs> Keď nebudem všetko prekladať, tak uh, prepačte. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, what do we build this oneness on? Uh, na čom je teda založená táto jednota? What should bind us together? Čo nás má spájať? Jesus mentions three things here. Pán Ježiš tu spomína tri veci. First one is kind of what we already mentioned, it's the gospel. Prvá z nich je evanelium, čo sme už hovorili. It's not ecumenicalism. Nie je to ekumenia. It's not unity for the sake of unity. Nie je to len o tom, že máme byť zjednotení len preto, aby sme boli zjednotení. It's not toleration or ignoring sin. Nie je to ani tolerovanie niečoho, ani mm, prehliadanie hriechu. 
nor is it based on our pet theologies. Ani to nie je založené na tých našich obľúbených teológiách. Or denominational tribalism. Alebo tých denominačných uh, kmeňových nezhodách. You know, or preferred practices or ways of doing things. Alebo to, že preferujeme niečo robiť takýmto spôsobom alebo oným spôsobom. It's based on what is true. Ale je to založené na tom, čo je pravda. It is based on the gospel, the good news. Je to založené na evanieliu a na dobrej správe. And throughout the early church, we had to be reminded over and over and over again what the gospel was. A už v prvotnej cirkvi sme museli si pripomínať znovu a znovu a znovu, čo vlastne je evanielium. Because the early church kept gravitating to things that were not necessarily the gospel. Lebo aj prvotná cirkev gravitovala k tomu, čo nebolo evanielium a pridržali sa toho. And it was breaking the unity. A to lámalo tú jednotu. So Paul, for example, he t- the apostle Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. A poštol Pavel nám hovorí v prvom liste Korinským 15. Says, brothers and sisters. Bratia a sestry. I want to remind you of the gospel I preached. Chcel by som vám pripomenúť to evanelium, ktoré som kázal. Which you've received and you've taken your stand on. Ktoré ste aj vy prijali a na ktorom ste sa vy postavili. And this is it. Toto je to evanelium. Christ died for your sins according to the scriptures. Kristus zomrel za vaše hriechy podľa písma. He was buried and raised again on the third day according to the scriptures. Uh, zomrel a bol pochovaný a vstal z mŕtvych, tak ako bolo napísané v písmach. Period. Bodka. That is the gospel. Toto je evangelium. Right. Everything else is secondary. Všetko ostatné je druhotné. I know that we don't all agree on every little theological thing here in this room. Viem, že my sa po teologickej stránke možno nezhodneme na všetkých malých uh, detailíkoch. But if we can agree on this, ale ak sa dokážeme zjednotiť na tomto, we're on a good path to being one. tak sme na dobrej ceste k tej jednote. I love my church. I'm a little partial to that. <laughs> <laughs> ja milujem náš zbor, trošičku uh, som naklonený tam tým love smerom. <laughs> milujem mojich ľudí. <laughs> you know, um, We're not necessarily international church. Nie sme medzinárodný zbor. But we do believe that Jesus says very clearly that he's going to gather people of all tribes and nations and, and places to come and worship him. Ale veríme tomu, že Pán Ježiš povedal, že zhromaždí ľudí zo všetkých národov, všetkých jazykov, všetkých kútov sveta, aby ho mohli prísť a spoločne uctievať. So we might as well start right now. Takže môžeme už začať teraz. And our church is a wild mix of people, okay? A náš zbor je takým uh, divokým mixom ľudí. You've already met a lot of the Indian guys. Už ste to videli niektorých uh, z Indie? My, my sons. <laughs> Moji <laughs> synovia. They've all lived at my house at some point. <laughs> a každý z nich býval v našom dome, uh, určitej dobe. <laughs> so, the God has brought the nations together in our church. A čiže Pán Boh zhromažďuje nejaké národy v našom zbore. But he's also brought people from all sorts of different church and spiritual experiences. Ale takisto prináša ľudí z rôznych cirkevných a aj duchovných uh, pozadí. But it's a blessed moment to be together. Ale je to takým požehnaním, keď sme spolu. Because despite the diversity and the differences, lebo aj napriek tým rozličnostiam a odlišnostiam the one thing, maybe the only thing we have in common, a tá jedna vec a niekedy jediná is, is the gospel. je evanelium. And we stand on that together. A na tom to stojíme spolu. And we let that be the primary thing. A tomu to dovolíme, aby to bolo takým hlavným uh, kameňom pre nás. Let, let's let the gospel be the thing that brings us together. Nech je to evanelium, ktoré nás spája dokopy. Jesus speaks about another thing that brings us together. Pán Ježiš hovorí o ďalšej veci, ktoré, ktorá nás spája he alebo speaks, privádza spolu. He speaks spolu. about glory. Hovorí o sláve. Says I have given them the glory you gave me that they may be one as we are one and I in them and you in me that me we may sorry that they may be brought together in complete unity. A slávu, ktorú si ty dal mne, ja som dal im aby boli jedno. Ako my sme jedno. Do you realize that Jesus shares his glory with you? Uvedomuješ si, že Pán Ježiš sa zdieľa o svoju slávu s tebou? And it didn't say a little bit, it says his complete or perfect glory. A nie je tam napísané, že len trošičku tej slávy, ale je tam napísané, že celú tú slávu alebo plnosť slávy. He shares his magnificence with you. On tu veľko lepo svoju, ktorú má sa zdieľa o to s tebou. He shares his excellence with you svoju veľkosť. He 
shares his awesomeness with you. Svoju majestatnosť. He shares that bright and shiningness of him. To, to jasné, to svetlé, to, to úžasné, čo je v ňom, to sa, s tým sa s tebou zdieľa. It is a gift that is given to you. Je to dar, ktorý je, ti je daný. Do you realize you have that? Uvedomuješ si, že toto máš? I don't think when I wake up in the morning, I don't always remember that I have that. Ráno, ja keď sa zobudím, tak si nevždycky uvedomujem, že toto mám. And you know the crazy thing is? A viete, čo je ešte divoké? If you're married, ak ste ženatý, vydatá, and, and your, your husband or wife are believers, a ak tvoj manžel alebo manželka sú tiež veriaci, he's even given it to them. tak aj im to dal. <laughs> right? he's even given it to those kids who believe in Jesus but drive you crazy. Dal to aj tým deťom, ktorí ťa sice vytáčajú, ale keď veria v Pána Ježiša, tak aj im to dal. He gives it to each and every person who calls upon his name. Dal to každému jednému človeku, ktorý vzýva jeho meno. He even gives it to the guy in the on the other side of the church that you never talk to and don't want to talk to. On to dal aj tomu človeku, ktorý je tam niekde v kutiku v kostole a ty si sa s ním nikdy nerozprával a dúfa, že sa s ním ani nikdy nebudeš rozprávať. He's given it to every one of us. Ale túto slávu dal každému jednému z nás. How different our relationships would be if we would remember that. Aké iné by boli naše vzťahy, keby sme toto mali na pamäti? Jesus, I'm going to try to go a little bit faster. He says he wants to, us to see his glory. We see that in verse 24. V 24. verši nám Pán Ježiš hovorí, že chce, aby sme videli jeho slávu. He, want, he wants us to experience it. Chce, aby sme ju zakúšali. How do we see it? Ako ju vidíme? We know and we experience and we see the glory of God. My poznávame, vieme a zažívame Božiu slávu. We see each other as he wants us to see each other. Vidíme sa navzájom, tak ako on chce, aby sme sa videli navzájom. Beyond our sin, beyond our failures. A, a je to, nepozeráme sa na tie naše hriechy, nepozeráme sa na, na tie naše úpadky. By the Holy Spirit that he's given us. Ale pozeráme sa skrze Ducha Svetého, ktorého nám dal. We know in John 16, he says, the Spirit reveals all that I have given. A v Jánovi v 16. kapitole vieme, že Duch Svety zjavuje všetko. Tuto slavu dokážeme zažívať skrze Ducha Svetého. <laughs> Teraz sa vás pýtam otázku a nemusíte nahlas odpovedať. When was the last time you invited the Holy Spirit to show you His glory? Kedy bolo naposledy, že si poprosil Ducha Svetého, aby ti zjavil Jeho slávu? To see the beauty of Jesus in your spouse, in your children, in the people in this room. Aby si videl tú krásu Pána Ježiša v tvojom manželovi, manželke, v tvojich deťoch, v ľuďoch, ktorí sú tu na okolo teba. We all know each other's failures, we all know each other's sins and how we fall short. My poznáme tie naše hriechy, úpadky a tam, kde sme zlyhali. O tom všetkom už vieme. That's easy, right? To je jednoduché. But How do we see what Jesus sees? Ale ako vidíme to, čo vidí Pán Ježiš? As we stand in him. Keď my stojíme v ňom, invite the Holy Spirit to do that. Pozývaj Ducha Svetého, aby ti to zjavoval. So we're bound by the gospel. Čiže sme zviazaní alebo, alebo stojíme na Božom evangeliu. We are bound by his glory. Sme uh, založení alebo sme zviazaní jeho slávou. We're also bound by his goodness. Ale takisto aj jeho dobrota je k nám zjavovaná. We're, we're bound by his goodness expressed in his love. Oh, bound like in uh, unity. Uh-huh. Together. A uh, sme niež zviazaní, ale spojení uh, aj v jeho dobrote, v jeho láske. Jesus prays in verse 25 through 26. And we'll just read in Slovak. Uh, a Pán Ježiš sa modlí v 25. a 26. verši takto. Just in Slovak. Yeah, I'm trying to find it because this light. Spravodlivý oče, Svet ťa nepoznal, ale ja som ťa poznal. A títo poznali, že si ma ty poslal. Oznámil som im tvoje meno a ešte oznámim, aby láska, ktorou si ma miloval, bola v nich a aby som ja bol v nich. Mm-hmm. Pán Ježiš nám chce dať svoju lásku. A chce, aby táto láska bola tým takým lepidlom medzi nami. Tým, čo nás spája. Toto mu musíme dovoliť a musíme zotrvávať v jeho láske. Beyond all those three things, uh, nad všetky tieto tri veci, ktoré som spomínal. Pán Ježiš nám dáva zasľúbenie. 
And he says it in, uh, I got, I know it's got a little messed up, so sorry. He uh, says it in verse 21. A toto zasnúbenie nám hovorí v 21. verši. He says what happens when we are one, when we are one like he is one. A hovorí nám uh, tu, že čo sa udeje, keď my budeme zjednotení, tak ako on je jedno s Bohom. He says in verse 21, the second part of verse 21 says, may they also be in us so that the world may believe that you've sent me. Tá druhá časť toho 21. verša, uh, aby aj oni boli v nás, aby svet uveril, že si ma ty poslal. That's a promise. To je zasľúbenie. That the world will know about Jesus because of our unity. Že svet bude vedieť o Pánovi Ježišovi kvôli tej našej jednote. Earlier in that evening Jesus had told them, I give you a new command. A trošičku skôr počas toho večera Pán Ježiš im povedal, dávam vám nové prikázanie. We spoke about it a moment ago, right? O, to som už hovoril pred chvíľkou. Love one another. Milujte sa navzájom. Love one another. Milujte sa navzájom. But he also tagged on in verse 35, it says, but every, sorry, and everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. A tak ešte potom pokračuje v 35. verši a hovorí, že všetci budú vedieť a budú poznať, že ste moje učeníci kvôli tomu, že sa navzájom milujete. Our oneness, our unity, that is how people will know. Táto naša jednota, toto naše spojenie, podľa tohto budú všetci vedieť. I personally believe one of the biggest stumbling blocks to unbelievers not wanting to be believers. Ja si myslím, že ten najväčší taký kameň, o ktorý sa ľudia podkyňajú, ktorí sú neveriaci, aby uverili v Boha, is our disunity. je to, že my nie sme jednotní. You know, there's a lot of dysfunctionality in our city. Uh, je veľa nefunkčnosti v našom meste. There's a lot of dysfunctional families in our city. Je veľa nefunkčných rodín v našom meste. Why would someone want to leave a dysfunctionality that they know? Prečo by niekto mal odísť z takejto nefunkčnosti, ktorú poznajú? To join a different dysfunctionality called the church. Aby prišli do ďalšej nefunkčnosti, ktorá sa nazýva církev. And have to wake up early every Sunday morning. A ešte aj skoro ráno v nedelu vstávať. When they just could be in the dysfunctionality that they're already in. A keď už môžu byť v tej nefunkčnosti, ktorú poznajú. Yet. Ale. If we are one. Ak sme jednotní. That is the greatest witness we could ever be. To je to najväčšie svedectvo, ktorým môžeme byť. It is the greatest testimony we could ever give. To je to najúžasnejšie svedectvo, ktoré dokážeme vydať. It is bigger than any concert. Je to o mnoho väčšie ako akýkoľvek koncert. I know you guys put on some big gospel concerts. Viem, že dávate koncerty, robíte koncerty. She sings in it. She's, she has sung in it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I have to translate. Yes. <laughs> Uh, they sing in it. <laughs> okay, some of you sing in it. Niektorí z vás spievate v týchto koncertoch. Beautiful concerts, keep doing them. A je to super, že robíte tieto koncerty. Keep going strong, okay. Uh, pokračujte v tom a, a choďte do toho a robte to. But even bigger than that. Ale ešte o mnoho lepší než to. Or bigger than any kind of preaching. Alebo akákoľvek kázeň, ktorú, ktorú by ste mohli počúvať. Or evangelistic effort. Alebo nejaká evangelizácia, ktorú by ste chceli podniknúť. One of the biggest things we can do is just be one. To, to také najväčšie, čo dokážeme robiť, je to, že sme zjednotení. That we would gather around the goodness in the gospel and the glory of Jesus. Aby sme boli zjednotení a zhromažďovali sa okolo evanielia a dobroty Božej. Because music fades, talk is cheap. Lebo hudba mm, ustáva a tie naše slova sú niekedy vyprchajúce. But the love that is experienced when someone comes into the room. Ale tú lásku, ktorú niekto môže pocítiť, keď vstúpia do tej miestnosti. That unity. Tá jednota. That is attractive. To ich pritiahne. That is authentic, that is real. To je autentická, to je skutočné. And it speaks to the deepest desires of our heart. A to prehovára do tej najhlbšej túžby v našom srdci. You know, I've had people come in our church and they don't really understand what's going on, they're unbelievers. A mali sme ľudí, ktorí prišli do nášho zboru a sú neveriaci a nerozumejú celému tomu, ako to prebieha. But they leave with this. Ale odchádzajú s týmto. These people really love each other. Títo ľudia sa skutočne milujú. And they seem to love God. A milujú Boha. They don't understand it. Nechápu tomu. But they get it, right? Ale pochopia to. Let us do that. Let's strive for that. Let's invite the Holy Spirit to do that. Tak aj my sa snažme o toto. Dovolme Duchu Svetému, nech toto koná v nás. Because the reality is, it's not always easy, right? Lebo...
sú najmilú júcejšia vec, ktorú dokážete spraviť je, že sa budete za niekoho modliť. Už som vyčerpal celý ten čas, ale aj tak sa budem za vás modliť. A budete to musieť prijať. Lebo vás máme radi. Pane Bože, my ti ďakujeme za to, že ty si nás prv miloval. Lord, we, we know what love is because you first loved us. A teraz dokážeme chápať, čo je láska, lebo ty si nás prv miloval. And Lord, when you prayed those prayers a couple thousand years ago. A keď ty si sa modlil tieto modlitby pred niekoľkými tisíckami rokov. We know you were praying with authority and you were praying in line with your father's will. Tak si uvedomujeme, že ty si sa modlil v autorite a že si sa modlil v, v súlade s Uh, otcovou vôľou. Lord, we know it will come to pass. A vieme, že sa to udeje. And Lord, help us right now. Tak nám, Pane, pomôž práve teraz. Not to be those who make the fulfillment of your prayer more difficult to fulfill than it needs to. Aby sme neboli tí, ktorí ti stiažujú, aby táto modlitba bola napl- naplnená viac než treba. Help us to have open hearts and open minds and open lives before you. Dovol nám, aby sme mali otvorené mysle, otvorené srdcia a otvorené životy pre Teba. Aby sme príjmali Tvoju dobrotu, Tvojho ducha a Tvoje evanelium. Aby sme brali všetko to, čo Ty nám dávaš. Aby Tvoja láska bola takou riekou, ktorá preteká medzi nami. A aby svet bol v takom úžase a začal si to všímať. A pani, ďakujeme, že v tejto miestnosti nie sú dva zbory alebo dve církvy, ale že je tu jedna, jediná církev. Your sons, your že je to tvoja církev, sú to tvoji synovia, tvoje dcery. Lord, you just love it when your children come together. A ty sa z toho tešíš, keď tvoje detky sa stretávajú spolu. You, you love it when there's the family reunion. Ty sa tešíš z toho, keď je rodina stretávka. Lord, so this, kind of a tak sa, páne, modlíme za to, aby takéto veci sa diali. So a ďakujeme ti za to, čo si už vykonal a ďakujeme ti aj dopredu za to, čo ešte vykonáš. A toto všetko sa modlíme v tvojom úžasnom mene. Amen. 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 I know many of you are thinking about lunch. Viem, že mnohí teraz už myslíte na obed. Don't go, we got a few more things. Neutekajte, ešte máme pár vecí. And thank you for allowing us to share with you a little bit. A ďakujeme za to, že ste nám dali priestor, aby sme sa mohli s vami podeliť. Ďakujeme. the chasm that lay between us how high the mountains I could not climb in desperation I turned to heaven and spoke your name into the night then through the darkness Your loving kindness Told through the shadows of my soul The work is finished The end is written Oh Jesus Christ My living So great a mercy What heart could fathom Such boundless grace The God of ages Stepped down from glory To bear my sin And bear my shame The cross is spoken I am forgiven, the King of kings calls me his own. Beautiful Savior, 
I'm yours forever Jesus Christ my living hope Hallelujah Praise the one who sets me free Hallelujah Death has lost its way for me You have broken every Christ, my name. 